So are you now Bishop Reverend Doctor or <laughs> is it like Bishop Trump's the Reverend? I, I'll ask her. Um, doc, I'll ask you. Uh, Carla Dunbar, marriage, family and sex therapist is joining us now. Good morning to you, Bishop. Morning. Good morning, Simone. Bishop Good morning. Reverend Doctor. <laughs> morning, Reverend Doctor Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is it, or is it just everything same way? Um, they are used together, and or they are used apart. If somebody says bishop, it's fine. If they say reverend, it's fine. So I'm bishop, reverend, doctor, it's fine. Okay, bishop, reverend, doctor. You were just ordained as a bishop. Um, yes. So congratulations to you Thank on you. that. And in Thank doing you. that, no, you've resigned from your uh, Church of God of Prophecy to concentrate fully on your ministry and this ministry is something that you said god led you to do exclusively which is definitely grow your marriage ministry and life temple ministries international we cater to marriage and family only so it's a specialized church it's not a general practitioner it's a specialist okay so you're going to have a church i have do already have a church life temple ministries international and we focus fully on the marriage and the family okay so tell me how that works so this is like a niche church. Yeah, it's like a specialist. Okay. <laughs> Other churches are general practitioners. That's the word I got. So the and people so treat everything and everyone. I focus solely on building, reunifying, resuscitating, rebuilding, re restoring the marriage and family. So the people who come to worship at your church would be the people who have the issues that you are now treating. Most definitely. Understood. Or if they are single. Um, they do come because God says he places the lonely in families. And so they come as well because they are part of a family. But as I said, when we are evangelizing, it's families. When we are discipling, it's families. It's marriage and family totally. So anybody can come to the church still? I mean, they can. I'm not going to stop anybody. But it's just that what we focus on, the, the messages are centered towards unifying, rebuilding, restoring marriage and family. So I know you're not going to stop them, but you really just want married people to come to the church? I want everybody to come because everybody's a part of a family. Single people are placed in family, the Lord said. They come out of a family. It's just that the issues that they face are the issues that will be treated. Why so you want to do this? Yeah. Because I believe, every, I, be, I believe there's no comment in Jamaica that the Lord has raised me up for such a time as this to treat with the issues of marriage and family. God created and instituted the world upon a family and he wants it to remain that way, you know. And so God has raised me up at this time and it is, it is akin to all church leaders and even corporate entities that this is my era of speciality. So I went and trained in the area to make myself more competent. And I have been doing this, working with marriages and family for over 17 years. So when you say restoration of families, right? Now, Bishop, um, we know in the last year and change, a lot of families have been falling apart because of COVID. A lot of marriages have been falling apart. I mean, it's something that's been happening. Um, tell me what your assessment has been over the last year and change. What have you been seeing in your ministry as it regards marriages, as it regards family and some of the challenges that they're navigating all right so i have been seeing um challenges of persons having different conflicts and the conflicts surmounted a little bit more in 2020 but as we come out of 2020 into 2021 with persons like myself and other counseling specialists our marriage and family specialists intervening we are seeing it less and less so persons weren't so accustomed to being in the same space together all the time so that was affecting them not understanding how to effectively navigate their relationship, being in the same space, having the family together 24 hours a day because you're working from home, that kind of a thing. So that was a challenge. But we have been helping persons to learn how to navigate their differences, being in the same space, uh, giving each other space while you're in the space also because we're individuals even though we are one in a family. So they have been learning how to do that and to do that effectively. Yep. And so that has been petering out somewhat, you know, where that is concerned. And so I'm happy for the fact that we can help persons to be in the same space. Because you're supposed to relate, you're created to relate, you know, whether you're relating platonically or in a familiar, intimate relationship or parent-child, you are supposed to relate. Have you got to this stage any time at all that you look at couple and say, no, I think you guys not going to work? 
Not, no, not at this time. There was only one time in my 17 years that I told a couple that this is not going to work. And I helped them, even though I told them that, I, I helped them in the separation period. I, I foresaw, because I'm a child, I'm a Christian, my discernment is very sharp. And I, can, I, can, I could foresee what was about to take place in that relationship. That was not meant to be, by the way. Right? This was a relationship where the man was almost 30 years older than the young lady. She was looking for a father figure based on my psychoanalysis of her story. And, and the first person that paid some attention to her, she entered into a marriage with him because she was of the age at 18. And so uh, my assessment and I told them, I think um, this had better end. But I helped them to navigate the separation, however. You know, I put them on contracts of, of, of being together and showing kindness towards each other while they separate their assets yeah. that they had together. They didn't have any children, thank God. And, and so it was easier for them to separate. And so you mentioned a while ago mother and child, I think you did. So you, you counsel parents and children as well who are having um, yes. issues? Yes, I do. I, I counsel the entire family when they are having issues, when they are going through process of grieving, when they are going through conflicts, coming out of not being able to relate well, mother, mother and child, father and son, you know, the entire family. I bring them all together at some point. I'll start out as individual, but then I'll bring them together for the therapy to be most effective. How important is counseling before marriage? It, it's, it's critically important, like critically important. Premarital counseling is preparation for marriage. People don't see it that way. It's not preparation for the marriage day, not for the wedding day. The wedding day is one day. It's preparation for the marriage that, lives, that is lived after. And so you look at varying things and dynamics that they are going to be experiencing throughout the life of the marriage. Like the conflicts that they are going to face, the roles and functions of husbands and wives. We look at spirituality and personhood because some, everybody seek a higher force. We look at family relations and the history of two people coming together with unknown history. Two 25 year olds, 50, 50 years of history in a house. Right? So we look at their values and their interests and their financial intimacy and their emotional needs. All of these things. We, 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 help, we, we take them through this. I take them through this. And this helps in the marriage after the wedding day. The wedding day is one day. Yeah. So premarital counseling is not for one day. It's for the life you will live after. As the mirror is just here, 21 years of knowing and learning how to hold it together after losing two kids, bro, you have yeah. to prepare. Yeah. yeah. Um, when will you have time for Sim and I? I want some... As soon as you call and make the appointment, just, just put the appointment. Yeah, we need some, <laughs> we need some, pre, yeah. we need some pre counseling. It, it, yes, yeah, and, and I see people on Sim, I see people on the thing sharing some nice stories. I mean, as you said earlier, and as the viewer said earlier, it's the support system that people have. When they have support system, like what I have, I have the Goya Marriage Ministry, which is the gym, right? It's a Goya Marriage Ministry. I have the Goya Marriage Academy because I believe people must be taught. We cannot expect people to catch something that is supposed to last a lifetime. So I have an academy that teaches singles and married about marriage okay. before they enter into marriage. Yeah. How to sustain it once you enter. And I have the ministry, which is free as well. They come together. They come to me. From the nuggets of wisdom that God has given. Yeah, we, we don't need much because, you know, we're madly in love already. So we don't need much. We, we, we work it out. Great to see you. Um, that marriage works in a Simona level. It works irrespective of the statistics that we see about divorces and stuff. It works. It is just that people need to know how to hold it together. Anything that God has built is built to last. Yeah. No, we but going, if you come against her, we, we're going to work. We're going to work. Um, great to right. see you. Um, I kind of uh -huh. miss you. So, Bishop, look after yourself. Um, stay safe. Thank God, you so much. God I'm doing you. well, right? Yeah. God bless you. Marriage, bless you. family, and sex therapist, Bishop Reverend Dr. Carla Dodbar. Um, who will um, be the counselor for. We only need about 10 minutes and we start it out. We'll soon come back, yeah? Stay with us, please.